What up, it's time 1822. Survivor Series is this Saturday. War games, it gonna be a party, people. After what took place last week on SmackDown, I'm really looking forward to this show. I'm going to order some pizza, some wings, and some drinks. It's going to be a party, people. I know it's not summer no more, but we're going to have a big time party in November. And the show come on at 6 o'clock. We don't even got to wait that goddamn long. So this is my pre-prediction for this upcoming show on Saturday. The first match I want to talk about that came out of left field is for United States Championship, the champion L.A. Not yeah, versus Shinsuke Nakamura. And look, I like Shinsuke Nakamura. But his time in the WWE just ran it course. I don't care for this match at all, but I got to pay attention to it because I will review the show. We all know Ellie Knight will leave Survivor Series still United States champion. And hopefully I get my wish of LA Knight versus Carmelo Hayes for the United States Championship. For the Intercontinental Championship, a triple threat match. Luger Kaiser versus Sheamus versus Brown Breaker. Now this match should be a banger. Brian Breaker better not lose his Intercontinental Championship because I wanted Brian Breaker to have a long title run when he defeated Sami Zayn at SummerSlam, but I did understand it was Jay Uso at the time, so I was fine with it. So, Triple H, you better not mess it up. Brian Breaker will leave Survivor Series still your Intercontinental Champion because he need a long title run. Triple H, you love long title runs, so you better give one to Brian Breaker. Sun came on my screen, so I had to click it off. Sheamus, damn, see, damn, damn, see, damn, they messed me up. Damian Priest versus Gotha. The rematch from SummerSlam. This is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, we all know this match is going to be hard hitting. Both of these guys' chest going to be bleeding. You will see blood from their mouth. This match is going to be one of those stiff matches where you can just feel the chops. Through your TV screen. And I bet this match be a lot better than the one at SummerSlam. Even though I did enjoy that match. I just got a feeling this one will hit a lot harder than that match did. I love this one, Gunther. Damian Priest been doing one hell of a job since getting caught up to the main roster. I'm so happy for him to be in the spot where he at in today's of the WWE. But do I see Damian Priest becoming the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship? Oh, hell no. Go! will retain his championship at Survivor Series. And let's see what's next for Gunther. Maybe him versus CL Punk. And that's the match I really want, people. The Women's War Games match. Now, to me, this match had no heat at all. I actually would be all for this being a traditional 5-on-5 five five match instead of War Games. But the participants is Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, Nia Jack, Candice LeRae, and Tiffany versus Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Baylor, who's replacing Jay Cargill, versus Naomi, versus Io Sky. Now, Io Sky is going to steal the show in this match. We all know Io Sky is good for doing no high spots off of top of the cage, and the crowd going to pop big time for Io Sky. But who will leave as the victor out this women's? War Games match. I'm going to go with the Baby Faith team. Now, the match everybody is looking forward to the most. I'd be shocked if someone say this is not the match they're looking forward to the most at Survivor Series War Games. The original bloodline with CM Punk versus 2.0 bloodline with Bronson Reed. Now, there's a reason why this is 5 on 5 instead of 4 on 4. Because this bloodline feud is not even close to being over. So someone got to take the pinfall. And who will that be? CM Punk or Bronson Reed? Well, we all know Roman Reigns took the pinfall at the Crown Jewel show. We all know OG Bloodline is going to win this match. Which means Bronson Reed will take the pinfall. And that will be your victors, the OG Bloodline. And of course, this you is nowhere close to being over. W told you they're not even close to the ninth inning. Right now, I'm gonna say he's at the seventh inning. This match should be so fun, and we all know the crowd is going to eat it up. And I cannot wait for this match. I'm gonna be looking at the clock like, come on, come on, come on. I need a main event because I'm looking for this match the most. 
So that's it for my preview prediction of the show. I hope everybody enjoys Survivor Series this Saturday. Hopefully, it turned out to be a good show. If it just turned out to be a one-match show, I don't have a problem with that. Long as the best match is the main event. So I'll reply with everybody in the comment section. You got something to say. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.